hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn about pagination in Firestore. So, what is pagination and what is the need of pagination? Let me come up there later. So, the purpose of this video is how you guys can utilize Firebase or you how you guys can utilize your data efficiently. All right. Uh, in my case. I have a very small issue that I want to cover through this video uh, through pagination. So in this video, uh, basically I'm showing users information in the app, right? So I have users collection in Firebase and there I have uh, 100 documents over there. So when I, when I come to the app and I show the users all the data, so basically what I'm doing is calling this users collection and getting all this information and storing to the users. All right. So what is the problem? The problem is Fairways is charging us on the basis of reads and writes. So we have to use a proper way to utilize or reduce as much as possible reads and writes by implementing pagination. So so the work that I have did till now is basically I have created a very simple list to dot builder with image, text and location and I'm using a stream builder to show user real time data from the users collection and then I have very uh, check to show if user is if data is loading. So that's that's very simple that I'm doing over here. So the problem is uh, let's restart the application so you guys will see the problem yeah application is restarted and when application is started it is getting all the data from firestore right uh, suppose if i am on that page i have read all the data from this screen suppose i'm not scrolling down so the resources is basically wasted uh, in the startup it basically load loads all the documents to show to the user this is the problem the problem is how to use the utilize firestore data efficiently <coughs> now let's come up toward the solution so solution is pagination in firestore if the user is uh, if the user screen is that much wide and uh, it fits only 10 documents on the screen so Pagination will basically provide only 10 documents from the file store instead of all the 100 documents. That way we are using or we are saving some resources in order to save wastage. So yeah guys you have seen the problem statement. Now let's come up to the solution of the problem. Uh, now let's uh, install pagination file store plugin. I have already installed it in my pepspec.yml file uh, so you guys do it as well. Uh, after this I am going to implement it over here. I am going to create another method, uh, another widget that basically return uh, pagination uh, widget instead of stream builder. User, users list paginate. And in this video, I'm using the same uh, example as they have provided already. I'm just going to copy this and utilize this code. Return. And yeah, this. So, uh, we got the template of pagination file store from the documentation. And we have to make it as our data. First of all, I have to copy. Uh, Query or till here, and it is necessary to be ordered by at least one property. It is already written over here. Order by is compulsory to enable pagination, right? And then uh, in our case, it is list view, so pagination builder type should be list view. Uh, if you want to get uh, live data, suppose if user change their name from Navid 456 to 457, uh, and you want to get the updates, so it should be true uh, and then this is the widget uh, that we are we will be using to show the data so for the widget i'm using the same widget that i have already created from here 
it's a basic container with the image and two text fields. Uh, it basically require image and name and yeah another name sorry so these are the variables that I have created I just have to shift from here to pagination method and still we have a few issues yeah let's remove this where it is sorry So yeah, give me it a restart. And now uh, use user list widget instead of user list. And you guys will see that there will be same widgets over there, but with a more efficient way to get data from Firestore. Uh, it is saying no document found. Maybe we have some issue in my uh, query. Where is the query? Users dot order by name. So it uh, I think we have username instead of name. Uh, yeah, it is username. Okay, so basically I'm using a uh, single child scroll view. Uh, yeah, uh, it is giving me a render overflow. You guys can see this is a has, a has size error. So what I'm doing is I have created a single child scroll view and then column. Uh, and basically this pagination is kind of list view itself. So we have to make it shrink wrap true and physics. Never scrollable scroll physics. Now let's how to start. So yeah, guys, you can see data is loaded and images are loading because of my slow internet. Come on, come up. Yeah. So all the data is basically loaded, but it is in the very efficient way so in this case we are not getting all the data uh, at once we are getting data once it's uh, in need and one thing is we have to order by so that's why all the uh, duplicated document are at one place and new documents are in the same place right so this is how guys we can implement pagination uh, package in order to save resources and art in order to use it uh, in efficiently way or in effective way uh, thanks guys for watching the video uh, please share and subscribe